Hey guys, it's John. Before we get started with the video, I just want to let you know that tomorrow, Saturday, March 18th, starting at 2 p.m. Central, we're going to be doing a charity stream benefiting Trans Lifeline. This is what I talked about back in December. I posted a vlog all about it. Uh, we're going to be playing Resident Evil 4, and our goal is going to be $40,000. So we're going to be playing Resident Evil 4, the original, with a randomizer. So it's going to be an all-new experience for me. The randomizer will... Uh, make all the enemies random in each location to make things feel a little fresher. And the more money that we raise, the harder the game's gonna get for me. So for example, if we raise $5,000, I can't use rocket launchers the rest of the playthrough. 10,000, no TMP. 15,000, no yellow herbs. 20,000, no grenades, so on and so forth. There's even one for no inventory organization, no shotguns, and if we get past the goal, to I believe sixty thousand dollars is where I've said it. Sixty thousand is no handguns. So if you want to see me do Resident Evil Four with a randomizer, knife only, uh, we're gonna have to raise sixty thousand dollars. But uh, the rest of the milestones are intended to make the game more difficult and fun. So again, we're doing that tomorrow, Saturday, March eighteenth, starting at two central on my Twitch channel, and I'll also be cosplaying as Ashley Graham. So you won't want to miss that. Hope to see you there, and thanks for watching. Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to another edition of Random Horror Games, the series in which I play random horror games. Pretty self-explanatory. In this video, I'm going to be playing a few that I've seen around, and some that I just found randomly. We'll start off with one that I've seen around YouTube quite a lot. This one's called The Man From The Window. I thought it was The Man In The Window until just now when I reread the title, The Man From The Window. Okay, that makes less sense. Uh, I don't know anything about this other than the thumbnails that I've seen of a guy in a window. Wow, uh, riveting. Um, just based on the main menu and the font choice here, I'm gonna guess it's gonna be a little scuffed, but we'll we'll charge through it. I think there's even a sequel, The Man from the Window 2. I don't know if we'll be playing that in this video, we'll see. I think that one you need to pay money for. We'll see how much I like this one. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I think it's based on a creepypasta? I don't know. It's hard to tell these days. D is creepypasta even a thing anymore? Let's go ahead and start off. All right, now is this gonna be Mimi? I can't help but notice there's a, f a lamp on the floor. Okay, it's a meme game. All right. Suspicion confirmed. I don't know why I wasn't expecting this. Who would be expecting this? Why do you have a lamp on the floor? If you're gonna have a floor lamp, it needs to be tall. It's a shorty. Oh no. I thought this was just gonna be like a normal first person free horror game romp, but instead it's a visual novel featuring Mama Rabbit. Wow. Oh my stars, I am tired. Whew, what a long day. Seems like I keep getting home later and later. But that's just how it be sometimes. I ain't giving up. I'd better try to get some sleep. Gonna need to be up early, bright and early to cook breakfast for the little one. Gonna be up early, bright and early. I see, Mama Rabbit's are already fading off faster than we thought. Bartleby's Bakery, huh? Oh, okay, wait, does this, this is not an intruder, this rabbit lives with you. Oh, don't make me do this. Mama, Mama. Junior, what on earth are you doing up this late? You know you have school tomorrow. But Mama, the man from the book is gonna get me. Huh? What man? What book? The man in my storybook. See? The man from the wind. Oh, there he is. Okay, so... So it is based on a creepypasta? I don't know what to think anymore. Did the creepypasta have anthropomorphic rabbits in it? The man from the winder? Give it here. Okay. Oh. 
more reading. The man from the winder is quite the odd feller. With his big beady eyes and sunken nose, why, he just wants to say hello. As he smiles from ear to ear, the man wanders the quiet night. Through alleys and backyards he goes, making very sure to stay out of sight. No, it rhymes. No, it rhymes. I didn't notice with fellow hello. He silently peers through windows, searching for one thing and one thing only. A new friend is all he wants, for the man is very, very lonely. Let me just go down here real quick so that you guys can read along with me. Don't want to block any of the crucial information in this book. Once you hear his tap, tap, tapping at the window, you know he's found a new friend to play. For now, you have only five minutes before before he takes you away. Uh, proofreader wouldn't, wouldn't have killed you. I know it's a free game, but still, have some pride. But do not fret, for staying in one place is the man's only peeve. Keep him at bay for another five minutes, and he'll leave. The man indeed is very, very bold. Soon he will check inside the place which is cold. The fridge? The place that is cold. Oh, what a riddle. The man is in his element. Do what he does best. Next he will look under the place where you often rest. Okay. So he looks in the fridge, then under the bed. The man will walk, then he will lurch. The place under the mirror is where he will search. The man has no friends, no family, no son, and no daughter. Next he will check the place which holds water. The tub? The man has no use for trinket or token. He will now check under the place where bread is broken. Well, if we know the exact order that he searches places, how is he a threat to anyone? <laughs> Junior, this is just one of those scary books people write. You're too young to be reading this kind of stuff. It'll scare your little mind half to death. But mama, I saw him outside. I really did. It's just a book, sweetie. It ain't real. Now get that cottontail off the bed right now. At this rate, you won't want to wake up in the... Huh? <gasps> oh, no. It's him. He's out there. Cal calm down, Junior. Whatever's out there, I'm pretty sure it ain't no monster. Junior? Yes? Where'd you get this book from? It was on the table when I got home from school. You got it for me, right? Oh, dear Lord. This ain't good. Oh, no. Mama Rabbit has to be the hero here. If Mama Rabbit isn't part of the man from the window creepypasta canon, then it was a very bold choice to have Mama Rabbit star in this game. I think it was a bold choice kind of no matter what, actually. It's a box of donuts I brought back from my job. <laughs> open the box, don't open the box, eat the donuts. We have a moral quandary here. Don't open the box. I mean, I want to eat them, but oh my God. I'd better take my keys with me. Wow, I'm glad that we picked up the keys. Um, I could probably fit myself under there and hide, but I need to get Junior to safe place first. I'm sorry, I need to do what? It's, it's 2 a.m. Junior, it's way past your bedtime. This needs to be, sorry, this really annoys me. You don't understand. This needs to be on a side table, a desk or something, not on the carpet. Heathens. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, is that the man from the window? Okay. I gotta find a place for Junior to rest. Okay, well, so he's gonna check the tub at some point. I ain't hiding until Junior's safe at him somewhere. Well, okay, let's hide him in the toilet. The sink cabinet is way too snug for me to hide here, but Junior definitely could. Okay, so, okay, should we tell him? Huh? Junior? Follow me. Okay, let's put him, let's put him underneath the sink. Hide Junior under the sink cabinet. Junior, Mama needs you to hide under the sink for a few minutes. Don't come out till I say so, all right? I'm scared. Don't be. We'll be all right. Okay. Now, do I remember... Oh, no, they did it again. They did it. Look, the 
They put another lamp on the floor. Wait, this is just a bedroom. That door doesn't go any- Oh, that's- that's the door to my bed. Okay, I guess. Ain't no way I'm gonna be able to hide under there. Okay. Bro, there's like no place to hide. Does he get closer? I guess he's just waiting. He's waiting to give us enough time to hide. What- wh where was the per first place that he hid? Staying in one place is the man's only peeve. Keep him at bay for another five minutes and he'll leave. He'll check. Inside the place which is cold. Can I hide under here? Hide under the table. Okay, let's just see if this works. I, I'm not sure I understand. It was exactly 2 a.m. when the man approached the front door. The door was left unlocked and unbarred, so he walked straight in. Wait, no, I locked it! Ellie, I locked it with the key! Oh my god. Where could she be? <laughs> the man looked inside the fridge. Oh god, but he found nothing. Oh, so he's gonna check all the spots. So you have to pick a you have to pick a, a hiding spot for you and Junior that he's not gonna check at all. I thought we were gonna get like turns. Well, we're we're screwed then. He looked under the bed, but he found nothing. Oh my gosh. There's only your your apartment is tiny. The time was now 201 a.m. He's gonna check the tub, isn't he? Oh no, he's gonna find Junior immediately. The man looked under the sink. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The man has found his new friend. Okay, so is that a game over? Hello? He has to be nearby still. Ain't no way they've gotten far this quick. I'll go find him myself if I have to. I ain't lying. The man broke in and just took him. I couldn't stop him. Please, someone, just find him. Please. Oh, no. I lost. Okay. I get it now. I didn't know he was going to do the whole thing in one fell swoop. It said that he doesn't like it when you hide in the same place. And so I was like, so we must get turns at this, but I guess not. Okay, so first he checks the fridge. Then he checks under the sink. Then he checks under the bed. Then he checks in the tub. Then he checks under the table, because that's where bread is broken. Um, well that's, I mean, am I wrong? Oh, this couch is nice and sturdy. I could probably push in front of the door. <laughs> Should I? It'll take about two minutes. We have the couch in front of the door. This will buy us some time, because it was like, oh, the man just walked right in. I hate that. <laughs> okay. So let's take the, let's take the, no, 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 get the, get the keys and lock the door. <laughs> okay, so you need to lock the door before you move the couch. All right, hang on. Well, well this is going to take some trial and error, okay? Okay, so first we get the keys. Next, we lock it. Oh, look, he's not even here yet. So time is passing depending on what actions we take. Okay. Here we go. Now, did you lock it? Is it locked? I don't know. I don't know if it's locked. Okay. Well, either way, we'll put the, we'll put the couch in front of it. So move the couch in front of the door. I don't know why this is just not what I was expecting at all. Now, see, he should be right up against the door. Oh, no, he's not. Huh. So it took less time somehow? All right, so he checks this one last. So I'm guessing we'll want to put... We'll want to put ourselves where it's going to take him the longest amount of time to get to. Okay. Can't hide in the waste bin. I'm thinking the tub and the table are going to be our best bet. So if we hide Junior in the tub, or actually we hide Junior, follow me. Okay. Let's hide Junior underneath the table because that's the last place that he'll, he'll look. 
Hi Junior under the table. Okay. The thing is, there's only five hiding places that I can see. <laughs> Great job, Junior. He'll never see you there. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Now, I'm guessing I have to get in the tub because he's going to check the fridge, the sink, and he's going to check um, under the bed. Let's close the door, too. I, I can see that being kind of a thing where he, w he wouldn't be able to... Or it would slow him down to have to open the doors. Okay. Let's hide in the tub then. Hide in the wash tub. All right. Now let's see. Let's see. I, I don't know if I locked the door or not. The door had been locked. Yes. The man spent only 30 seconds ripping the lock apart. My God. He's determined. A large and heavy couch had been pushed in front of the door. It took the man an entire minute to break through the barricaded door. Okay. So it's taken a minute 30. We've already shaved off a minute 30. The time was now 2 201 AM. Almost 2.02. Now he's gonna take time. Wait, what, what's he doing? He's going into, he's looking under the bed first. Wait, what? He's gonna check the bathtub now. Well, the order's different. Oh my God. Oh wait, no, no, wait, now he's checking. Wait, now he's checking under the sink? Am I, am I going nuts? He didn't check the fridge. Wait, now is he checking the fridge? Don't check under the table. No. Okay, is there, are there other things that we can do to slow him down though? Maybe I'm not looking around too much. Like, what else can I do to waste his time? Are there locks on the doors? Actually, yeah, let's check it, let's check it, let's check it. Okay. You can lock these doors, it looks like. Okay, let's try it again then. And this time I'll lock both of the doors and that'll slow them down. The keys are the key. Yeah? Okay, now I'm gonna hide in the bathtub. Which he'll never find. Okay, let's let's see if this goes. If we lock both of the doors, it'll take him another 30 seconds each to break through those, right? Okay, so 30 seconds. There we go. So it took him an, a minute and a half. We shaved that off. We gotta save Mama Rabbit and Junior. Bathroom door had been locked. So it's another 30 seconds. The time was now 2.02 a.m. Oh. It's because I hid in the same place. Right, that's his peeve. Hiding in the same place. Oh, no. Hey, at least Junior lived this time. Oh, no. Junior. Mama. The man is gone. You can come out now. Really? He's gone. Mama? You can stop hiding. Please? Oh, very sad. The man from the window found his new friend. And it was the gigantic rabbit sitting in the wash tub in plain sight. But he, he check. Does he check randomly other than that? Because I noticed he skipped the fridge last time. So with that in mind, we should put Junior in the tub and I'll go to the table. I wonder if that'll work. Does he actually follow? That's cool. All right, let's put him in the tub. Junior ought to be able to hide here. Hide Junior in the wash tub. And then I'll go on the table and then we'll be good. So I'm gonna lock him in here, which is gonna feel weird, but uh, you know, it's for his own good. All right. Now I go under the table. I, I think this is the best we can do. Now I noticed he didn't check the fridge that one time, which worries me that he's gonna go in like a kind of a random order. Let's see. Okay, so we, we shaved off an, a minute and a half. Now where does he go first? Check the fridge first, please. He's checking the fridge first. Let's go. Now, was there any way that I could make him take longer on the fridge? I don't think so. 
can't lock the fridge. 2.02 a.m. Okay. We've got to last three more minutes. 30 seconds. Okay, now he's going to check under... Okay, under the sink. All right. It's 2.03 a.m. This is the furthest we've made it. We need to make it to 2.05, though. But by the time he looks under the the bed, it's only going to be 2.04. Okay, so now it's 2.04 a.m., right? Well, how do you how do you shave off another minute? No, he finds me under the table. <laughs> Loving the blue eye shadow. Okay, we almost did it. How do you shave? You need to shave off another minute so that when he looks under the table, or when he looks under the bed, he's like, well, it's 2.05 now. I guess I better go. But I don't know how to do that. Oh, open the box. Maybe he'll want to eat some donuts. That could distract him. Okay. Now, how much time is that going to buy us? No, I, oh, oh, okay. The man spotted a box of donuts sitting on the table. And how much time? The man took an entire minute to keep, to eat them all. That's what we were missing. Now it's 2.02 a.m. Oh, you ate all those donuts? How many donuts did you, how many donuts did you eat? There was so many. Why are you going to the bedroom first? He skipped the fridge. Oh, I had him in the right order last time. I just didn't put the donuts out. Okay, so he's checking the bed first for some reason. Even though he's not... So <sighs> okay, now, don't check the wash tub. 2.04 a.m. He's checking the wash tub. He, he skipped checking the sink and the fridge, which would have gotten us to 2.05. He skipped those for some reason. Why? Because I thought maybe he he skips up to where he found you last time, but he found me under the table last time, so he didn't check the table first this time. I don't know. Oh, the book. Oh, it changes the order. I thought the order was the same every time, but it randomizes. It makes so much more sense now. So first he's gonna check the bed, then he's gonna check the bathtub, then the fridge, then under the sink, then under the table. So we need to put Junior under the sink, or Junior under the table, and me under the sink, I guess. Or, I don't know. Okay, okay. <sighs> Junior, come with me. Okay. That It was, like, not clicking with me, because I thought, I thought it was the same every time, but it's not. So, Junior, you go under the sink, please. Hi, Junior, under the sink. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna lock you in there, no offense. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go underneath the table and then we'll be good. Even though I'll be in the same spot. Uh, I, th I think the reason that he doesn't like the same spot, it, that's why it randomizes. So don't forget to, don't forget to open the box of donuts. Okay, now we're good. I think I can fit myself under there, yeah. Okay, we should be good this time. We should win. Okay. It was 2 a.m. when he approached the front door. You know, it's funny that he's called the man from the window, but he comes in through the door. Shouldn't he be the man from the door? Anyway, we locked the door. It only took him 30 seconds to rip the lock apart. So it's 2 o'clock and 30 seconds. Took him a minute to break through the barricade door. It's 2 o one thirty. <laughs> Where could she be? <laughs> Believe it or not, she's not home. Eat the donuts. Thank you. Eat seven donuts, please. Go ahead and eat seven donuts. You know, you know how many calories that is? So it's 2.02.30 right now. Seriously, it's like 300 calories a donut minimum. Jeez. All right, he's going to check the bed first. There we go. That puts him at 2.03. 2.03.30. Coming up. Because apparently it takes him a full 30 seconds to look under a bed and see that there's no one there. 
You know, these rabbits don't have like any possessions. They might need more stuff. They might last longer next time. That puts us at 204. So now he's going to check the wash tub. There's nothing there. 20430. Found nothing. Now he's going to check the fridge. I don't know why he doesn't just check underneath the sink, but, uh, you know, he's got rules, I guess. He's a man of principle. We found nothing. Okay, it's 205. Time to buzz off. His time was up. And he knew it. So as quickly as he arrived, the man from the window left. Five minutes. Five minutes is all I can spare to play with you. Resident Evil 5. Can't wait for Resident Evil 4 Remake, by the way. Oh, wow. He is booking it out of there. <laughs> what are you so afraid of? All right. Let's see the epilogue that we earned. Where Mama Rabbit and Junior both live. <laughs> okay. How about you close the door? Mama, is he gone? He's gone. Don't worry. Hooray! I knew you could do it. Oh, no. What? Mama, he ate all the donuts. I wanted one. Are you kidding me right now? You wanted a donut? Well, that's just how the cookie crumbles, okay, Junior? Just be glad you're alive. Oh my goodness, child, don't scare me like that. I'll bring you some from work tomorrow, okay? Okay. And Junior? Huh? No more cursed books, all right? I ain't up to deal with that again. But what are we going to do about the woman from the door? The who? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. <sighs> Junior, now is not the time. You're being so cavalier about this. You guys almost died. Or worse. What am I going to do with you, huh? I don't know. I was not expecting to uh, save some anthropomorphic animals, <laughs> rabbits, uh, from the man from the window who actually comes from the door. I got a star. I got a star. Wow. Gold star for me. I figured it out. Okay, so that was the man from the window. There's also a sequel called The Man from the Window 2. Um, if it's exactly like this, can't say I'm like super motivated to play it. I actually thought that this was going to be like a little more of a first person horror type of thing. Uh, sort of like, I, I expect it to be more like fears to fathom than it was. It was just kind of a, a weird little meme creepypasta game. There's really only a couple things to do. Lock the doors, push the couch in front of the front door and open the box of donuts and make sure you know the order that he's gonna check the hiding places. Uh, so really simple little free game, but uh, you know, I appreciate that it was a little different. I have to say, the man from the window, bit of a misnomer, though. He is the man from the door, by all accounts. Um, yeah, that's uh, that was fine. Next game. Hey, uh, you're the guy I have to pick up, right? It's getting pretty dark, so the earlier we get in, the better, all right? You can sit in the front with me if you want. Uh, this is a game called The Driver. Hey, do you watch, uh, do you watch South Park? Uh, what? I saw this, I saw this, um, I saw this episode where Cartman, he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then, uh, it was pretty funny. It was pretty, it was pretty funny. This was under the Itchio Horror tag, by the way. Uh, Rides with Strangers, this is not. Man, don't you just hate it when girl, when women, when women, sorry. Actually, never mind. I'm just not going to say that. Yeah, it's probably best that you don't. Where's your nose, by the way? Where's your hair? What's happening right now? You got big ass hands, by the way. Look the at those mitts. Fishing. It was a good day for fishing and all, but for some reason I had like no luck, you know? I was only catching some small fish, nothing else really. Coolest fish I saw all day was, um, was a frog. Near the pond. <laughs> that's not. It was a, all green that's not and spotty, so that was cool at least. That's not a fish. But yeah, I caught no fish pretty much. And, um, top it all off. It rained at the end of the day. 
Isn't that just amazing? <laughs> You're the world's most uninteresting person? Are you a person? Hey, um, if you're like addicted to smoking, then you can you can smoke in here if you want to. I don't mind. I really don't mind. So if you like want to light up a cigarette or weed, then you can you can smoke if you want. I'm so that's all I'm saying. Is this a game, or am I just a captive audience held hostage for this man's comedic musings? So uh. You fish? I'm feeling very held hostage no? right now. Yeah? You're giving me nothing to work with here, just so you know. I don't- this isn't a game. This isn't a game. I'm like... I'm half asleep over here. I'm, I'm gonna fall asleep. <laughs> Am I supposed to be interacting somehow? Is that- if there was like hey, um, a microphone... Uh, engagement somehow. If you're thirsty, there's um, there's some water here. I'm not going I, to drink that. I didn't that. put anything in it. Don't worry. It's got the, it's got the, the plastic thing on it, so it's, it's safe. It's just water. I'm just water. the fact that you're telling me that makes me not want to drink it, my man. Man, what are you? I'm not convinced you're Ooh, human. I the wrong turn. I'm not allowed to be next to the. I'm not allowed to be this close to a high school. Hey, I, um... Uh, uh, I left some wrappers on the floor somewhere. So if you could just pick those up before you before I drop you off. Because I don't want garbage in my car. So if you could, like, pick up the wrappers and throw them out, that'd be great. That'd be... I'd appreciate that. Thanks. If you don't want garbage in your car... Then you shouldn't have left them on the on the floor. I'm a customer, I guess. Is this like an Uber? I'm not picking that up. There's a condom down there. We should like um, we should go fishing together one day, just you and me. No, I will never come back from that trip. I know a pretty cool pond I go to every time. Oh, is it it's really got remote? Lots of cool fish. <laughs> oh, like frogs. But um, but yeah, we should do that someday. So where's the game part come in? All right, next. All right, as fun as it was to feel like I was in a comedy hostage situation just now, uh, we're going to move on to an actual game here called Missing Hiker. Uh, and I don't know anything about this, but it looks like it's up my alley. So let's go ahead and just hit play. Thanks. December 11th, 1994. Oh, it's retro. I knew there was a VHS filter for a reason. My brother Ethan is missing for around 24 hours. He went on a hiking trip near the Red Mountain. He should have come home yesterday. I went to the local police. They said they don't have the resources for a search right now. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine them actually saying that? Sorry, we're too busy doing routine traffic stops. We're a little busy for a search right now. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. And drive as slowly as possible up into the remote mountains. Look at this. Oh wait, no, I'm I'm controlling it. Okay. Sure. We gotta look for our friend, the missing hiker. Now, I'm gonna drive on the wrong side of the road because I think it's funny to hit other cars in these games. People outside the US are like, what, you're driving on the right side of the road now. The correct one. He's not doing anything wrong, officer. All right, well, let's just uh, hold down W for a little bit. That sounds like a nice relaxing time. Hey, it's like the opposite of the last game. The last experience. Oh, I think there's another car. Let's hit it. Let's go. Am I going to ghost through it? Or are we going to collide and it's going to game over and send me back to the beginning? Let's find out. Oh, it's not another car, is it? Oh, no, it is. It is. Let's go. Collision course. <laughs> you died from a car crash. No, game over. That means I got to do it again. Oh, okay. 
All right, we're gonna avoid dying this time and we're gonna go to the gas station. I should park at this gas station and ask if they saw my brother. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, we're getting some lag right now. Despite my best efforts. Let's see if it'll stop when I get out of the car. Okay, it's good. Um, just real quick, just a little note for any indie developers out there. Um, if you don't have a V-Sync option, it would be great to have one. Just a little on-off tick. Thank you so much. Because uh, what happens sometimes with certain setups like mine is that a V-Sync is not available, then the game just runs at like 6,000 FPS and it lags out the graphics card. So, uh, and then it re results in laggy recordings like what you just saw. Thankfully, it looks like it's better now. But just a little thought, I just troubleshooted that for a while trying to figure out a way to force it on in like some INI file or something. Anyway, I'm not good enough at that type of stuff to figure it out, I guess. I even turned it on an NVIDIA control panel. Anyway, I'm sounding like a total dweeb right now. Let's go ahead and go inside the gas station. Hi there. Press E to talk. I'm so excited. What do you want? Oh, wait, that's my voice. I'm searching for my brother. He went missing while hiking in this area. Sorry to offend you, pal, but that's not my problem. Also, you shouldn't just randomly approach people like this. <laughs> Especially in this area. What do you mean? Hey, look, man. I work pretty late. I just want to grab some snacks and beers and drive home. I'm not in the mood to talk with people I don't know. I understand. Sorry for bothering you. Our anime protagonist will not be shaken. He will not bow. He will not break. What can I do for you, sir? I'm searching for my brother. He was hiking around this area. He should have come home yesterday. Have you seen him? How does your brother look like? He has brown hair and is pretty tall. He also has a green backpack. That's not how, that's not what he looks like. That's just a thing that he has with him. Let me think for a second. Hmm. 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 Yeah, I think I saw your brother. He came in here and bought a few things. Some water and a few snacks. You're trying to find him? Have you told the police already? Yes, I did, in fact. But they said they don't have the resources for a search right now. They said they only start a search if a person is missing for more than 48 hours. What the? Okay. I learned this one time in one of my past videos, like five years ago. There was somebody that was uh, missing for like 18 hours or something. And they were and the, the character in the game reported them missing to the police. And I was like, oh, no, no, you can't do that. You can only report someone missing uh, after it's been 24 hours. And people in the comments told me, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. As soon as you notice that they're not where they should be and enough time has passed for you to personally get really concerned, you should report it. Because as soon as 24 hours pass, the person's probably gone. Like, you have very limited time with a missing person's case. And if you allow 24 hours to pass before you report it, you're probably not going to see that person ever again. So... You know what? That makes total sense. Um, so this right here, this means that these guys are horrible, horrible officers of the law. Not only do they not have the capacity for a search right now, too busy writing traffic tickets for uh, rinky-dink little speeding uh, incidents. Um, the fact that they said they only start a search when someone's missing for 40 hours, that, that, that means they're looking for a dead body at that point. Um, they are horrible. Very, very bad. <laughs> it isn't the first time someone went missing in this area. At least a handful of people went missing there in the last decade. People talk a lot. I've heard rumors that there are strange screams and weird noises coming from the woods. So, you should be careful, especially going there at this time of night. There's a road right behind the gas station, leading to the mountains. Make sure to stay on it. There could be dangerous wildlife in that area. Thanks. I'll make sure to stay safe. Take care. Wow, this guy was way more friendly than the other guy. Look, you got... Who's buying smokes? You got two different brands of cigarette packs there. One of them looks to be menthols. 
Are those yours? I'm gonna talk to this guy again. Can I talk to him again? That's too bad. I want to waste as much of his time as possible. Anything that I can do in video games to be annoying, I want to do. So I guess I'll get back in the car, get ready for the game to lag out. I'm so sorry, there's nothing I can do! Wait, I can't get back in the car. Or should I just... Wait, should I just walk? Oh, maybe I should... Oh, I just walk. Oh, okay, good. We don't have to get in the car again. That's nice. <laughs> but yeah, that bit about the 24 hours, that was, uh, you know, some useful information, some potentially life-saving information. So yeah, if you ever have somebody go missing, if it's been like two hours, three hours, four hours, go ahead and get that reported. <laughs> you want to waste as little time as possible. Well, where's this light coming from? Look at this. My brother's tent looks entirely different. I should take a closer look. What do you mean it looks entirely different? Uh... Can I go in? I'm taking- Oh! Fucking shit! <sighs> that was like a puppet combo jump scare. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Who the fuck are you? You scared the shit out of me! I scared you. I almost had a heart attack myself. What do you want? I hope you're not some kind of pervert or creep! I'm not. I'm searching for my brother. He was hiking in this area. Have you seen him? Nope. I haven't seen him. Wait. You don't even know what he looks like. Look, man, I'm just some guy that likes to hike in a woods. <laughs> in, in a woods? <laughs> and sleep in a tent in freezing conditions. I haven't seen anyone in days. I understand. You're planning to go deeper into the forest? Yes, I'll search around the area. Hope I can find my brother, or at least traces of him. Look, you'll probably think I'm a stoner or something, but last night I had my tent a bit up north. And I heard weird noises coming from the woods. It sounded like a child was crying, but I didn't see anything. Creep me out. Me was a cryptid. A what? Look, man, do you carry? What do you mean? My God, my man's not the brightest bulb in the in the tool shed, now is he? Doesn't he mean sharpest tool in the shed? I'm talking about a piece, you know, something for protection. Dude, you are, you are not the type of person who be, should be calling it a piece. Okay, white polo. <laughs> you, you, I don't think you've, I don't think you have the, the cred to be calling it something like that. You mean a gun? <laughs> no, I don't. Then you shouldn't be here in the first place. It's way too dangerous to go deeper into the forest at night. But I'm not going to stop you. I just want to sleep now. Also. One last thing. Don't creep up on a tent in the woods at night ever again. I almost would have shot you. Well, I guess I'm glad you didn't. Me too. Good luck with the search. So let me get this straight. I awoke you from slumber. This is what you were sleeping in. And you call it a piece? Yeah, okay. Let's get back on the road, which is right here. Okay. That guy's like the human embodiment of Dynamite Hacks version of Boys in the Hood. What are some more dated references I can make to scare off any teenagers that may be this deep into the video? They're probably not this deep. They're probably, they probably lost interest by now. Not enough silly voices and not enough, um, not enough exaggerated reactions. I'm boring. You know what? Sometimes, just a thought, sometimes it's not my fault. <laughs> what am I supposed to be talking about right now? So I don't have a whole comedy routine prepared for my long walk down the dirt road in the middle of a dark forest with nothing to go off of. It's getting really cold. I should sit at my tent on the left side of the road. Oh, what, like here? I guess in this gigantic clearing. Uh, so how do I... I'll press E to place tent. Okay. My fingers are pretty numb. It's hard to build the tent. Did you bring gloves? You came out to a cold mountain at night 
and you didn't like prepare yourself. That's what I'm getting out of this. It's cold, but I'm falling asleep slowly. I think I heard someone scream. Not sure if that was real or imagined. <laughs> that was a great scream. Ah! I need to check. Could be my brother screaming for help. I've been posting TikToks lately on my TikTok. Speaking of, there's a light deeper in the woods. I need to see if that could be my brother. Sorry, okay, it's time to get, it's time to get serious. Time to get serious. No TikTok talk. My TikTok's John Wolf YT if you want to follow. Just posting clips from videos for now, but who knows? We might post more in the future. By the way, I don't need to hear if you don't like TikTok, okay? This is just for the people who want to know, okay? Anytime I mention something like that, there's always people that's like, oh, I would never, I would never make a TikTok. It's like, okay, well, I don't need to hear from you. Just for the people that already have it, okay? Don't make a TikTok just for me. And don't give me your life story about how the reasons, the, the 59 reasons why you'll never make a TikTok, okay? It's just for the people that already have it. I think TikTok will survive without you making a new account, okay? <gasps> a green backpack. That's my brother's backpack. He must have been here. Let's inspect it. Weird. The backpack is completely empty. Nothing in here. Okay. Uh... Yo, let's inspect the trash real quick before we just go running in guns blazing. Interesting, there's barbed wire. And bars on the windows. Okay, I guess we'll just go in. We're just going in. Hi. There's a, there's a, oh, camera with photographs. What the hell? Someone made a picture of my tent. And my car. Oh, and there's raw meat on a plate. That's even more suspicious. A couple beers with the little with the little tag missing. What do you call that thing? You know, the little the little this thing. This thing. <laughs> the little thing on top. What do you call that? The tab. That's what it's called. You can stop screaming at your screen right now. Tab! It's called a tab! There's a hook here um there's a mallet and a cleaver and a pool of blood let's restart the generator i guess or an empty cabinet an axe wow uh there's also gasoline so what am i <laughs> Your body was never found. What, so I have to start over from the beginning? Oh my god, no! Okay, so I went ahead and looked up, and I'm so glad I did this. I went ahead and looked up if there were other endings to the game, and there are not. I was fooled briefly because I looked around on YouTube, and there are these videos that are like, Missing Hiker, all endings. And so I was like, oh, so there are multiple endings. But guess what all endings means? It means the one I just got where you get got in the cabin. And the other ending is the one where you drive into another car and die. I hate Let's Play YouTube sometimes. I hate it because of that exact scenario. Oh, missing hiker, all endings. No, that's not, the one where you just die from running into another car is not an ending. <sighs> There's only one ending, okay? So if you're wondering if you can survive the cabin, you can't. All right, and that's gonna go into my review of the game of missing hiker. So I would say missing hiker, you know, it's okay. Nice atmosphere, but the fact that most of the game is you driving to the gas station for like a minute and a half and then you running from the gas station to the cabin for like three or four minutes 
and you have a couple conversations in between and there's no other gameplay, it kind of feels like there could be more. Yeah, I mean, you don't need to get too innovative or too ambitious with a free indie horror game like this, but it definitely would have given the game a little bit more of a dynamic feel, like some sort of some sort of inventory, some sort of items that you could bring, you know, to prepare yourself would be good or at least a different ending than you went to the cabin and there's at least two cannibals there i'm guessing because they were eating raw meat on a plate and stuff uh who killed and ate your brother and then they kill and eat you okay well it would be great if there was some way to escape or some way to fight back some some sort of culmination of things because when you have atmosphere build up it means nothing unless there's a payoff and the only payoff is jump scare at the front door not enough for me to to really say that i had a great time playing it so um yeah that's missing hiker but you know what they've actually had uh another game come out a few months ago and i'm gonna check that one out as well all right this is a game called driving home it's from the same developer and i'm guessing it's gonna have a very similar start it was a thursday november 16th I was working late. I drove home. It's it's literally the same opener. That's funny. Uh, I'm guessing we're gonna have another V-Sync problem. There's no filter this time though, it looks like. But um, yeah, exact same start as Missing Hiker. Now these games were made just a couple months from each other. There's the same fence and barbed wire from the last game so this was made before missing hiker i think these games were clearly inspired by the fears to fathom games by rail which i really like i really like the fears to fathom games not i really like the fact that this was inspired by them because the way the way that um the ending happened where the guy gets you at the front door that was kind of very similar to how Fears to Fathom games end, but it, it's, well, it's how you die in Fears to Fathom games, but usually that's not how the game ends. There's some kind of resolution, which I prefer. Why do I feel like we're gonna just drive until we see something and then we're gonna get got? Oh, I'm almost out of fuel. Well, we should still have like two gallons left when it says low fuel. So that could be anywhere from, depending on your car's gas mileage, to 40 miles, 20, 30, 40 miles left. Uh, the fact that our lights just blinked though. Okay, have you ever run out of gas before? Because you do not run out that fast. <laughs> that was insanely fast. If it gave you only that much notice, people be, their cars would be breaking down all over the place. I tried using my phone, but I didn't get any signal. Nice car, dude. This is pretty nice, actually. It's kind of a sporty car. I decided to follow the road until until I find a gas station or something. You decide to follow the... So your phone just doesn't work. Okay, and you don't know where a gas station is. And you're so... You're so bad at life that you just are in the middle of nowhere. Don't know where the gas station is with a phone that doesn't work. Okay. I'm sorry, but that's called being bad at life. It's time to get a little better at it. Because uh, this is one of the worst situations that you could find yourself in completely voluntarily. Okay. Uh, well, we found something. I guess since this is the only, th this is a house. Do we, I saw a house. I decided to go there and ask for help. Yeah, this is very Fierce to Fathom inspired. Even the text, I just noticed it. And the fact that it's yellow, I think. It's exactly like Fierce to Fathom, right? I knocked on the door, but no one answered. Okay. Um. Well. Okay empty beds well i guess we're gonna be a creeper and we're gonna look dude no one is home i know there's a car here but no one is home confirmed 
I like that the fence ends right here. Just enough for you to be able to walk outside the house. I saw a back door, which was open. Really weird. You're telling me you decided to go inside? I thought maybe I could find a telephone to call for help. So you're gonna break into their house. Are we gonna get shot? Ow. Bought my nose with that. Um. Okay. What was that? What if we just left? I mean, that's what I would do. If I heard that somebody was home, I would go back to the front door to knock. Or maybe just... Just not inter interact at all. There's weird sounds happening. Get ready for the big jump scare. It's gonna happen. Well, it's just... You can't open. Uh... The garage door was locked and I needed to find the key. Okay. Is it in the storage room? No? Nice storage room, actually. Compared to a lot of people's storage room, that is very, very good. Oh, oh, here it is. <laughs> I know I like to keep my precious garage key on the bedside table. Okay. So now we, we've got the item. The key item, which now that means that uh, we're going to have an event on the way back. Or maybe in the garage. Jesus. My heart sank after I opened the garage door. Cannibals again? Well, I took the fuel tank and decided to leave as fast as possible. Wait, are these the, sa are these the same character? Same universe confirmed? Okay, we're gonna get got here. Oh, the door's closed. It wasn't closed before. I started running to my car like a madman. With the with the gasoline can full of gas? I swear it felt like something was following me. Is that so? I don't see anything. Once I get to the safety of my car, I'll refuel it and then drive away. Wow. Just think, if you had, if you had looked out a little bit better, you wouldn't be in this situation. If you had noticed that maybe the gas was on L, is somebody gonna be in the car? Nah, there's nobody in there. Somebody in the trunk? Okay, let's refuel the car. I refueled the car. Now I can finally drive away. Okay, let's see. There's nobody in the back seat. There's nobody in the passenger seat. There's nobody, hopefully nobody in the trunk. Something tells me you're not gonna check though. All right, let's go. Three horror games in a row, all about driving. These are really random. I didn't I didn't set it up like that. I just picked some some random games. Okay, let's keep going. I saw I would see if anybody was there. Is somebody gonna pop up in the rearview mirror or Taking a long time for something to happen. I guess the cannibals just weren't home. Although that door was... It's Greg Longneck. Oh no. Um, okay, so that was driving home. Once again, a very I'm I'm starting to notice a pattern with these games. I think uh this one This one's a worse 
or not, maybe not a worse version, but a more simple version of Missing Hiker. They're the same game, okay? You start off driving on a rural road in your car, right? Um, you discover cannibals, you get got. <laughs> it's the same thing, uh, basically twice. It's just in Missing Hiker, your brother's missing, and driving home, you run out of gas. So the predicament's different, but the game, the pacing and the everything else, the payoff, the build-up, it's all exactly the same. So, yeah, okay. Well, I'm glad I played them, but uh, yeah, I'm ready to move on. Next. All right, this is a game called Dark Siren, and I'm not gonna lie, I picked it because I thought it might look good in the thumbnail. Beyond that, I don't really have any expectations or any plans. Uh -huh. <laughs> I want to point out something in the settings. Uh, there's a setting called remove object and you can check or uncheck it. I don't know what it remove object. Well, we'll just leave it default for now, but it's very interesting. Light source optimization. Why would I not want that checked on? All right, let's find out what dark siren is all about. This is on uh, Steam, by the way, there's normal mode. Dark Siren tempts you. Defeat the Dark Siren's temptation and escape the ship. You can see the normal ending. Ooh, there's also hard mode and invisible mode. Wow, let's check it out. Sirens were once dangerous beings who lured sailors into the sea. Now, through a pact with humans, they have... Now, they do not lure sailors into the sea. Sink the entire ship. Um, okay, so they sink the ship. I don't know. Something about packed with humans. I guess maybe they can walk among us now. They don't have to be out in the sea. I'm guessing that that's what the story was. <laughs> oh God, don't put us in the back of the head. Oh, they're actually putting us to the side. My head is confused. Where is this place? Let's look around first. Sailor's notes, zero out of 20. No. No, don't make me find 20 sailor's notes. Where's with the three little anchors there? Okay. Watch out for the dark siren, y'all. Don't want Booba to catch us. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Where did you come from? There's nothing over there. She just kind of appeared. Avoid the dark siren. Well, you're making that difficult. I got an achievement called first encounter. You're making that dip. What? What's she doing to me? Oh my. <laughs> wow. Unabashed there. Just straight into the booba. Phase two. Okay, so wait, what? What's the pacing of this? Oh my god, she's different now. You can't sprint, by the way. Sprinting, not allowed. What are the tactics of this game? Oh my god, she's dumb. <laughs> she just turned around. Okay. Boatswain's notes. Oh my god, there's lore. According to the schedule, we should have already reached our destination. The captain told me to keep it a secret because sailors could be unstable, but the vice captain seems to be dissatisfied with the captain's words. Hmm. He just hates the captain. I just want to go home and I want to see my family soon. Okay. That's not, uh, the following note appeared somewhere. Whoever's writing these notes, the boat swaying, they don't seem to be very bright, huh? Okay, so we just need to avoid the dark siren. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can beat the game. Uh, there's two right here. What? Temptation. How many copies of this do you have? Everyone on this boat's horny. Number two, captain's memo. The ship is unable to leave this sea area. And that strange dream haunted me yesterday too. Even when I wake up upon, uh, from my dream, I can still hear that song from outside. Maybe I'm out of my mind when I see no one else listening but me. It's so reluctant, but I'll have to check out the island. 
We are certainly wandering around the island. The singing voice is also coming from the island. God bless us. Shakespeare, it isn't, right? But um, I think I'm able to get the gist. All right. Wait. The following note appeared somewhere. It's not letting me get this. I have to get them in order. By the way, that's just that's just a picture. That's just a horny picture. Oh no, that's the bathroom. I like how the developer, the developer probably spent like weeks sculpting the dark siren's body. But when it came to a bathroom, they were just like, we'll just put a toilet in the corner. Yeah, you know what? You're stuck on a ship. That's your bathroom. Toilet in the corner. It's just next to a wall. Great. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, if only that much time was put into the bathroom. Sailor A's memo. I like how Sailor A doesn't have a name. He's just Sailor A. Hey, Joe. Come to my room later in the evening. Harry and I got some good drinks and munchies. Some cargo was moved from the island where we were temporarily anchored by the captain's order. In return, I got a good amount of rum and some munchies. You already said that you had munchies. Are you high right now? What a reward for such an insignificant work. The captain is a really nice guy. Call that Little John, too. Little! But seeing the amount of munchies, it would be better not to call a pat. Huh? Not to call a pat. I don't know what that means. Okay. I like how there's like... <laughs> I like how there's like extra items, but you can't get them out of order. You have to get them in order. Oh no, there she is. Oh, she's turning around. She just has like a standard patrol path. Here, let's hide. This is, this is the best we can do to hide, I guess. Can't go in there or anything, because it's not, it's not wide enough for me. Okay, she's not here, actually. Apprentice Sailor's Notes. Mother, it's me. <laughs> this is my third voyage, but I'm still not used to sea life. It's your third voyage, and you're still not used to it? How long are these voyages? you think voyage would be really long. Everything is too rough, so I don't think it's a job that's not suitable for me who is timid. Wow, some character development for Apprentice Sailor. Pay is high. I somehow doubt that, but I plan to quit after this voyage. And yesterday I saw the captain moving cargo from an island. I'm worried that it might be contraband. If so, wouldn't I be a sinner too? Shouldn't I report it first? To have a headache. <laughs> I'll write about it later, Mother. Mother's lovely son, John. How embarrassing. That's how I sign everything. Mother's lovely son, John. That's how I sign all my checks. That's how I sign, you know, letters to my pen pals. Um... I never sign it any other way. You know, here's a thought. Maybe we could have just gotten these back to back. Sailor B's memo. I love how Sailor A and Sailor B will write memos to like Billy and Harry and John, but they don't have names themselves. Billy, what did you put in drink? After drinking and snacking in your room, I keep hearing strange singing noises. I just thought I was tired. Harry said he could hear the singing too. Are you kidding me? You better blow it quickly to see what's in it. You better blow it quickly to see what's in it. Um, okay. I'm not sure I understand that. Oh no, don't turn this way. Oh no, don't get me. Oh. Wow, she's a professional woman. <laughs> she's walking on the ship in heels. I like how there's no footsteps or anything. There's no sound cues for the enemy. It's just, yeah, you know, don't run into her. Good luck. There's no mechanics. 
no tactics or anything. It's just, if you see her, run the other direction. You like reading notes? Number six, vice captain's memo. You stupid captain to believe in superstition. It must be that the navigator is disgruntled and fucking us. To take revenge for being beaten by me that evening. If we arrives, I'll use all my connections to put the damn navigator in prison. I hope the company realizes the captain's incompetence through this incident and promotes me. Hmm, on second thought, I think this voyage will be a lot of opportunities for me. <laughs> it is also important to think outside the box. Dot, dot, dot. Oh my gosh. You stupid captain to believe in superstition. Oh wait, is it just like right here? Wow. They must be random, because that's really lucky. Number seven, captain's note two. Confusing. What I really dreamed of was on that island. When I saw its existence, I felt the fate dissolved in my blood. I put it in a cargo box and had two trusted sailors take it to my room, but I don't know what to do next. And despite moving it, we couldn't get out of the sea area of the island. I brought it on this voyage to organize the luggage from the old house. I need to find my father's records. God bless us. I think they mean like God save us or something like that. God bless us seems like a weird way to end this despairing note. Um, so what's in the cargo? I don't know. Some sort of powerful relic. Oh no. Oh, dude, look at this. Look at the, look at the, look at the, look at the toilet. It's not even touching the ground. Yeah, this developer was just like, they, they spent months. They, they were just like, mm, let's make, let's bring the shoulders in a little bit, you know. Hmm, I think the breasts should be slightly larger. And when it came to placing the toilets, they were just like, eh, whatever. Put them in the corner. People won't see them. Nobody's gonna look over there. They're gonna be too distracted. I need to keep track of where she is. I need to not just hide. Cause she doesn't seem very bright. It's very odd to me that she's in like, She, she's like porn secretary attire. Memo from Sailor C. I hear a singing voice. I saw it when moving cargo on the island. What was in that box? It's an angel. When our eyes met through the gap in the box, I almost peed my pants in surprise. I hear a song, a very beautiful song. Billy, I want to make an angel mine. Oh, God, these guys are so cringe. Sailor C? C stands for cringe. I almost peed my pants in surprise. Dude, you couldn't torture that information out of me. How come the first siren that caught me looks different than this one? <laughs> no, you're going exactly where I need to go. Too bad I can't sprint, huh? Okay, as long as she doesn't like turn around here, we're good. Oh, well, that's exactly what she did. Oh my gosh, gameplay. Stealth gameplay. Apprentice Sailor's Memo 2. Oh no, it's the mother's boy. Oh. Mother, I'm in trouble. Mr. Harry attacked the captain yesterday and was imprisoned. Oh, okay. So I guess John's a kid. Oh. Fortunately, the captain was not seriously injured. He couldn't hide his embarrassment. I'm so confused. Harry was a kind person who was very nice to me. Why did he act like that? I met eyes with Mr. Harry who was being captured. It didn't look like human eyes. Mother, I'm afraid I'll be able to reach the port safely. Please pray for me. Mother's lovely son, John. So you're, ri you're writing to your mother and signing it as mother's lovely son, John. What a suck up. I mean, we are on normal difficulty, so this is easy. Vice Captain's Memo 2. Why is this ship so undisciplined? Man, he's a hard ass, isn't he? One of the sailors attacked the captain. Of course, getting attacked by a captain isn't so bad. An attack by a sailor on the captain is an obvious fragging. As the vice captain, I must be careful. After the attack, the captain barred all sailor members from entering the captain's quarters. I don't know anything else, but why did you ban access to me? I mean, I'm not a sailor, you coward. I remember when I was an officer in the Navy. I couldn't have imagined such a mess. 
Should I have stayed in the Navy instead of taking a job on a freighter? Wait, where do I hear the singing voice? Who sings at a time like this? <laughs> Must be one of the undisciplined sailors. The, one of the game's big flaws. Here's where the siren came from, by the way, in there. One of the game's big flaws is there's no audio. There's no audio to, um... To be able to, like, detect where the siren's coming from. Okay, she turned around. Or, like, employ any kind of strategy. Sailor A's memo too. John! What the hell happened? Why did Harry attack the captain? I've known Harry for over 15 years. He's a decent guy who never had a fight with anyone. I heard you were there. If you see this memo, come to my room. I need to hear what happened there. There's so much gossip happening. So much note passing. So what happens if I get caught? Do I lose all my notes? Captain's memo three. It's as recorded. I heard it from my father when I was young. I thought it was a fairy tale made up for me as a child. My great grandfather's record and that agree uh, perfectly. Besides, one of the sailors has already been possessed by it and attacked me. Poor guy. That damned thing is not the angel you think it is. How could this happen? Is this a revelation from God? No. Are you asking me to complete the tasks of my ancestors? But how? No matter how much I search the records, there is no way to get rid of that. My ancestors just sealed it on that island. At this rate, our ship is in danger. We need to find an artifact that can seal it. If I'm lucky, it might be in the luggage I brought. Oh, please. God bless us. No, no, no. It, 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 they have to mean God save us. Because God save us is a plea. It's a plea that we're in trouble. God bless us is what little little Timmy says at the end of a Christmas carol. After all the good things happens. God bless us, everyone. That's like a silver lining thing that you say. Not a, oh, good Lord, something's happening. Okay. There's, there's so much physics happening every time she takes a step. It's like embarrassing. Boatswain's note too. Oh my gosh, what happened? I went down to have dinner for Harry who attacked the captain. He was attacked by someone and was already dead. Is there a creature in the ship? I have to tell the captain right away. It's been a while since we've heard from the boatswain. Oh boy. Remember earlier when I was like, what's with all the horny mags? I bet there's someone typing up a comment right now, or maybe they already finished one where they were just like, actually, Sailors were notoriously lonely. Blah, blah, blah. Let's let's try not to take the game Dark Siren too seriously, shall we? Sailors would sometimes be out to sea for weeks or months. Sailor B's memo. Oh no, there's some blood on it. Harry, you bastard. Tried to monopolize her. She's not yours. Not even Billy or Little John's. That fat pat. The fat, who's the fat pat? They've mentioned them several times, like with disgust each time, and I don't know who they are. Ha, that guy already has no chance. I've been trying to get rid of Harry before I kill him. How is it, my strategy? Don't I deserve her? Ugh, oh, damn it, I stabbed Harry first. He didn't just go. I need to go see her before I bleed more. She will save me. Um, she decidedly will not, I would say. All right, we just, the annoying thing about this game is that, like, if we accidentally run into her, it's all over. How come I can't pick this up? Oh my god, acquired bunny girl costume. I couldn't pick it up earlier. There's costumes? Apprentice Sailor's Memo 3. Mother! I don't know what happened to the ship now. Wait, is this John? There's another person writing to their mother. There are loud noises and screams outside. Sometimes someone knocks on my door roughly. I write this note hiding as quietly as a mouse. <laughs> ah, I can hear the singing, even amidst these loud screams and screams. An enchanting song. Mother, goodbye then. I think I can't ever go back. Okay, well, who's gonna deliver this note to your mother then? Is that way? Ugh, see, she's completely quiet. That's one of the issues. Don't turn around. Oh, she's going that way. 
I like that with every passing note, she doesn't get like more powerful or anything. She's just exactly the same. Vice Captain's Memo 3. It's so insane. What's up with him? He killed a man. I didn't see him as such. When the boatswain and the navigator were on their way to stop him, I slipped back a bit and ran away. Shall I face a madman like that? The noble me could never die with insignificant people in a place like this. Insignificant people? The vice captain's an asshole. Ah, the singing voice. A wonderful singing voice is heard. It is a glorious song. As if honoring my heroic achievements. I will survive. No, you are not. Look at, you've got blood on your note. He, he wrote, I will survive and then died directly afterwards. That's what I'm guessing happened. I wish you could lean around the corner or something, but you can't. You just have to kind of face check every corner. Captain's Note 4. God, he's a little chatterbox, isn't he? Found it! An artifact that can seal that! It was also among my father's keepsakes. Because of its unique appearance, it was etched into my brain, even when I was a child. At that moment, there was a loud explosion. When I lost my balance and stumbled for a while. This time, I heard a rough knock on the... On the my room's door. Rough highs and screams. <laughs> rough highs? Rough highs? You mean like shouts? As per the record, I need to seal it quickly. Dot dot dot. What the? When I turn my head and see it, I was holding. it was holding the artifact with a meaningful smile. It must have slipped out of my hands when I just lost my balance in the explosion. I have no time to regret my immaturity. I watched as the artifact was crushed by its hands. Got screwed. <laughs> it's failed. I will become a proud descendant of an embarrassed ancestor. I will become a proud descendant of an embarrassed ancestor. I'm sorry, father. I blacken family name. A fool who released that cursed thing into the sea. God won't bless me anymore. Wow. Dude, you are, you are so, so negative. Negative Nancy. You know, I think it might be smarter to go along the outside. That way you only have one hallway you can look down. Okay, here we go. Apprentice Sailor's Memo 4. If I obey Mr. Joe, I won't have a big problem. I don't have to monopolize that singing voice. They keep saying monopolize. What does that mean? Acquire? Find out about discover? If only I could have it even if I shared it with others. That's the way I achieved what I want, even if I'm weak. I will obey and cooperate with Mr. Joe. Then my turn will come. Who's Mr. Joe? Am I missing something? Oh. Oh, look, there's two toilets here. Developer up in their game. I'd like to think that they put two toilets here and then they were just like, hmm. Nah, we better go the extra mile and put a little wall in between them. Oh, Sailor A. You're so talkative. Sailor A's note three. I don't know what this is. The faces that smiled and said hello until morning became corpses and were rolling around. <laughs> so what they're trying to say here is that the people that I saw smiling and laughing in the morning are now dead. But it's just a really funny way to phrase it. Barely trying to hold back, I vomiting. <laughs> I went out to find people. Oh my gosh, what did I see? The vice captain and Joe. Even the little John. Oh no, not mother's lovely son John, my favorite character. They were held in the moonlight by an unknown creature. It gave me a strange smile too. I was able to come to my senses when I saw the captain lying on the floor, bleeding, as if he had given up on something. That is certainly a way to describe someone who's bleeding to death. Seems like he's kind of given up on something. I helped the captain and entered the safe room. A story like a superstition. Stories that seemed to be in fairy tales that I saw as a child. The captain's voice, which I thought was diminishing due to self-blame, soon stopped. The floor was already full of the captain's blood. Captain, I've never been able to tell you my lifetime. 
You was like a father to me. In the corner of the safe room, there was a handgun, just in case. I don't know it is possible, but there is no other alternative. I hope I succeed in stopping it and recovering this note. Otherwise, good luck in the world without the captain and me. I hope it doesn't leave this sea. Okay, so Sailor A is, is taking themselves out. Good luck. Good luck in this world without the captain and me. Oh, it was the captain and Sailor A that was holding everything together. Okay, I'm gonna go around this way. Okay, clear. Okay, she went that way, so we're good. Oh boy, okay. Uh, it comes with a key. Part 20, or, or sorry, number 20. Part of Nordward's, Saturn, Nordward Saturn's log. Captain's great-grandfather. Thanks for clarifying that. So is this what he means by a proud descendant of an embarrassed ancestor? Finally, the siren made a pact with humans and disappeared into the deep sea. However, the sirens who did not follow the decision remain and are disturbing the sea more violently than ever before. We call them Dark Siren. Dark Siren is much more aggressive than the previous sirens. I have not seen that so far. So far, she looks like she's out trick-or-treating on Halloween and uh, taking her time doing it. She is wearing heels, so maybe that's why she's walking around so nonchalantly. They do not enchant sailors and take them to sea. They enjoy sinking the ship itself into the sea. Seduce the sailors to stab each other with improvised swords and spears and destroy their chain of command by taking out the captain. No man can resist temptation. They're not just glamorous women. They're magical creatures. You don't believe it. Have I not tried it? I tried to fill the ship with only with men who hate women. But what about mother's lovely son, John? I tried to fill it with only female sailors, but nothing worked. They have always appeared in a form that one cannot help but be fascinated by. In the end, the siren gave us artifacts to stop them, an artifact that can seal them. We split the ship and sealed the dark sirens. Many sacrifices were made, but soon the sea found peace. But I couldn't decide it was a real victory. Okay, that's a weird way to end the final note. You can open the locked door. What locked door? Oh. Jeez, how tall is she? <laughs> oh. Good thing she never goes inside any of the rooms. <laughs> Don't turn around again. She's camping me. She's camping me. Okay, what if I just slip out? Okay, she didn't actually turn around that time. So wait, what? What? What door am I trying to go out of? There's no, uh... There's no waypoint. Oh, exit right here. Is it... Oh, I got an achievement. Open the door. Oh, here's some... Here's some sound effects. Here's some audio. Uh, <laughs> what? We have plenty of time to get out of this. Um, I guess we'll just stand there and die, though, after getting 20 of those notes. Uh. Okay. Wow, what a bad ending. <laughs> so what's happening right now? Oh, the ship sunk now. Well, that's too bad. I did everything that I could. Normal ending. Oh, you're, you're not gonna catch me with this. You're not gonna get me to be like, I gotta see all the endings. Hard difficulty unlocked. The bikini skin has been unlocked. 
Don't forget, we've also got the bunny girl costume. Extra. Oh my god. Special special item. Heal reinforced high heels. You can now hear the dark siren's footsteps obtained when clearing hard mode. So wait, I gotta beat hard mode without any audio cues and my reward is I get to hear audio cues. Look guys, it's the bunny girl costume. View story. Oh my gosh. Wait, there's some... We don't have note number 21. We don't have the pamphlet or anything. What? What? <laughs> this is a card depicting the bunny girl outfit that the apprentice sailor had. He was desperately looking for this card he had lost, afraid that someone would see it. Eventually, he was able to get this card back from the dark siren at the end, but he didn't even pay attention to the card he was looking for, because in front of him was a dark siren dressed in a bunny girl costume. Wow, deepest lore. I'm sorry, there's... Of course. of course. I got an achievement for looking at the bikini skin. Wow. All right. Um, well, this was Dark Siren. How expensive was this, uh, was this game? Three dollars. Uh, the game's three dollars. All right, so let's recap the video. I can't think of a better screen to do it on. Um, well, let's see. The first... The first game that we played was... The one that I spent the longest amount of time on, and it was... The Man from the Window, right. It was really simple, but it was okay. Um, I wasn't expecting the rabbit thing, but, you know. All things considered, it's a fine free game. It was challenging enough that I had to play it multiple times, which I can't say for the other games on this list. Um, game number two was actually Missing Hiker, because the one that we... <laughs> we experienced directly after the man from the window was called the driver and that was more of like a sit and listen to my bad stand-up comedy routine than it was a game i wouldn't even say it was comedy horror i would say it was like it was like an animation test i will say that about it the animation on the face was pretty good like the fact that it matched up with what the voice actor was saying I appreciate that about it. So I will say that. But, um, yeah, couldn't say I, I cared for anything else about it. Um, game number three was Missing Hiker, which I already kind of extensively gave my thoughts on that. I think it was okay, but there was a little too much traveling time and not enough, like, activity time. And then we played Driving Home, which was kind of a worse version of Missing Hiker, less eventful. But, you know, I thought the atmosphere was okay. And then we played Dark Siren, which, I mean, I think this says all that needs to be said about our experience. A completely opaque, incomprehensible story, for the most part. I mean, I, I got the gist, but, like, the finer details escaped me. Uh, and uh, it seems like it was just kind of an excuse. You know, call me a conspiracy theorist. But it kind of seems like the whole game was an excuse just to, like, put... Uh, a a big booby anime babe in a game for clicks. So let's hope it worked out for me. Ah, at least maybe I can get some benefit from it. There was really nothing to this game. Like I said, I said while I was playing, there's no audio cues. The fact that you have to, the fact that you have to beat hard mode to get it unlocked is ridiculous. So like the fact that there's no audio cues means that there's basically, there's no gameplay. There's no like, it's just random. The AI for the siren isn't particularly scary. I didn't get caught once after the opening scene in which I'm, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to get caught. There's just nothing to it. There's no tactics. The monster isn't aggressive or, or interesting to play against at all. Uh, if you do the strategy like I was doing where you go around the corners and that way you only have to look one way instead of two, you should never get caught. Now, I don't know about hard diff- Oh my God. It, I don't know about hard mode. I mean, maybe you could see the true ending. Well, you know what? If you're interested, maybe you could just look that up on YouTube. I'm sure someone's got Dark Siren all endings out there. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I think my favorite of the lot was probably Missing Hiker, even though it was really derivative of Fears to Fathom. And my least favorite was probably The Driver, but you know, I mean, the Dark, Dark Siren is not a good game, so 
that's pretty low on the list as well. But I will say I at least got quite a bit of entertainment value out of it. The notes, if nothing else. But uh, yeah, let me know what you thought about this edition of uh, Random Horror Games. I know it's been a while since I posted one. I'm just not as interested in scouring Itch.io, you know, scraping the bottom of the barrel, looking for something entertaining or interesting. So that's why I don't post a whole lot of these videos anymore. But I still kind of like the format and I still plan on, you know, continuing to post them every once in a while. Just won't be as often as before, obviously. But yeah, let me know what you thought about the video and the games, and I'll see you in the next one. Think critically.